I have to say that the Game Boy Advance was probably one of my favorite Nintendo systems, especially uh, in the handheld department. Um, it had lots of great graphics, uh, a huge library of games, uh, it was very portable, it didn't require that much power, and you know, it was just all, all around just a great system and you know it was, it was a great time to be in video games when the Game Boy Advance was out and about and you know you could play games and stuff with it. It was just a wonderful wonderful system. Um, you know with that uh, these are my favorite Game Boy Advance games. Uh, they're not in any particular order uh, but you know these are some of my personal favorites that I've picked out of my collection. Uh, so Advanced Guardian Heroes was released 2004 by Treasure. You know, I, I really loved any, I really do love anything by Treasure. Um, all of the Guardian Heroes and, and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, Advanced Guardian Heroes was basically taking the Sega Saturn game and re-releasing it basically so that more people could enjoy this story and enjoy this world that Treasure brought to us and you know, I, I think it's a great addition to the series. Um, you know, it's not an exact copy of like the first one, it's actually a continuation of the story. But you know, they did a really good job. Uh, it still feels like Guardian Heroes. Um, even with the limitation of only having uh, four action buttons, you know, uh, it's still just really good and very well done. You know, my um, hats off to you, Treasure, for you know taking the time to take such a great series and try to expand it to a wider audience. Uh, next, I have Advanced Wars One, released 2001 by Intelligent Systems. Uh, Advanced Wars was more of a Japanese style war uh, simulator, you know, tactical game uh, where you just ran around with uh, tanks and stuff like that and units. And some units had advantages over others, so it was kind of a rock, paper, scissors uh, style of combat. Um, but it wasn't so definitive that you couldn't win with a disadvantage. You could actually win with a disadvantage. It was just a lot harder. But you know, they they did a really good job with this game. Um, I had tons and tons of fun playing this. Uh, it's one of the games that I've logged quite a few hours with on the Game Boy Advance. Also, uh, Advance Wars 2. I Advance Wars 2. I did a, a lot of. Uh, uh, game play as well. Um, it was released 2003 again by Intelligent Systems and it's just a wonderful game as well. Uh, they did a great continuation of the series. They didn't falter at all or anything like that. It's just very well done. Um, next was probably one of my first Game Boy Advance games and that was Castlevania Circle of the Moon released 2001 by Konami. Now, what my one gripe about this game was the purple flame monsters or anything that was dark purple color was really hard to see on the original Game Boy Advance screen. But with you know releases like the SP and the, and the AGS 101 SP and you know various clone systems and the Game Boy Player and, and stuff like that, uh, it's it's brought the game back to light. No pun intended. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it's it's really, you know, just brought the game you know, in, into a whole new era of, like, being able to play it. And it's just really well done. Um, a very good addition to the Castlevania series. It is a Metroidvania style. Uh, but, again, one of the games that I logged many, many, many hours on. Um, and my... My my absolute favorite, I will actually call this my absolute favorite, is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, released 2003 by Square Enix. I love the Final Fantasy Tactics series. Um, you know, it's just a great and wonderful series. I love the world. 
Uh, I love the combat system and the job class system and stuff like that. And with Tactics Advanced, um, they introduced judges and rules and laws. And if you broke the laws or rules, you would get punished and stuff like that. And you know, with either a yellow card or a red card, or you could even win games by or win combats by forcing your opponent to break the rules and at which point they would get taken off to jail or punished or something like that. And it was, it was a very innovative system. Um, they explained very well where permadeath areas were and where permadeath areas were not and, and why they existed and stuff like that. It was, it was just a really well done game. Beautiful soundtrack. Beautiful, bright, colorful game. Uh, if you are interested in the Game Boy Advance, please, please pick up a copy of Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. Uh, I've actually gone into places and rescued this game, cleaned it up, put it in a custom game case, and resold it just because uh, I felt that the game wasn't getting the respect that it deserves. Um, you know, and this is just a great game. I highly, highly suggest it. Well, that's it for this episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel by clicking on one of the links below to my Patreon. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.